So first time I was in Vienna, they pran pressed me and Daita to come to Croatia. It was so good for me that he gave me shelter in his home and I meet with devotees in Croatia. And he gives so much love and care to me. And Daita is also with me. And they pran. And his car, he bring car and drive, we drive there. So thanks, they pran to bring me Croatia. I can feel them. And I'm very thankful to you, my dear that I know so many devotees in Croatia. I just want to say uh, that whatever Gurudev uh, did was his own on his own accord. I was very fortunate to be the instrument in his coming to Croatia and uh, I cannot express my gratitude uh, on my life, on how my life turned out. I consider myself very, very fortunate uh, to have had the association of Gurudev and all the devotees. So thank you so much, Gurudev. And thanks for this, that you accept my daughter and you give so much care and love to her. Yes. I'm proud of your caring and love mm -hmm. to Karuna, my daughter. Thank you. She accepts one of my daughter, and she is there in Croatia. I'm proud of your kindness and greatness. <laughs> Thank you, Gurudev. This is all your mercy. Yes, they are the Prabhupada thing. So, Gurudev was so kind uh, to ask me to prepare something uh, regarding one of Srila Prabhupada's lectures. Uh, before I start, I have to say that I don't feel qualified to do this. Uh, but it's Gurudev's wish and um, I accepted it for my own purification. Please forgive me if I, if I say something wrong. Uh, this is due to my ignorance. If I say something correct, this is uh, Guru Dev's mercy, Guru Dev, Guru Kripa. So I have selected uh, Srila Prabhupada's lecture, which was given uh, in New York on the 12th December in 1966. As, uh, as are like many Prabhupada's lectures, it has many points, many purposes. This lecture was given as Bhagavata class, Bhagavatam class, uh, sorry, Bhagavad Gita class, uh, on the verses 24 to 26. So I will start by reading all three verses, just the translation, English translation. Verse 24. 
I am the only enjoyer and master of all sacrifices. Therefore, those who do not recognize my true transcendental nature fall down. Verse 25. Those who worship the demigods will take birth among the demigods. Those who worship the ancestors go to the ancestors. Those who worship ghosts and spirits will take birth among such beings. And those who worship me will live with me. And finally, verse 26. If one offers me with love and devotion a leaf, a flower, a fruit, or water, I will accept it. So now I will start reading uh, Prabhupada's parts of Prabhupada's lecture and then some comments from me. Srila Prabhupada said, because we do not know God in fact, simply understanding Oh, there is God, and little more advanced. God is our order supplier. That is not sufficient. Very good word. Order, I order in supply me. <laughs> <laughs> Order supply. <laughs> Amazon. <clears throat> that is not sufficient. You must know God. I mean to say, Tat, Tatvena. In truth, Tatvena. That Tatvena, in truth, as it is explained by Lord Chaitanya, that is the highest explanation. He has given the fullest information. Krishna has explained that you require to surrender unto him. He says in the Gita, Aham hisarva yagyanam bhakto chaprabur eva cha. I am the beneficiary of all the activities of living entities. He further says, Sarva dharman parityaja mamekam sharanam vraja. Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reactions. Do not fear. Then Lord Chaitanya, he is playing the role of Krishna's devotee. 
as a devotee, he is explaining Krishna further. Not only do we have to surrender, but what happens after surrender? What are his activities? That is explained by Lord Chaitanya. So for the people in general, the first requisition is that they must learn how to surrender unto God. So here, Srila Prabhupada is saying that Lord Chaitanya revealed the highest explanation who is God. Lord Chaitanya is Krishna in the mood of Srimati Radharani. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like every avatar, the Lord has appeared for so many reasons, both external and internal. For us, who meditate to become the maid servants of Srimati Radharani, yeah. we shall focus on two reasons. The first one, Lord Chaitanya descended to spread prema, love of God. Second yeah. one, second one, to introduce Manjari Bhava. Ah. Manjari, to introduce Manjari Bhava practice. Wow. Really? <laughs> no, no. He's giving the class Manjari Bhava in America. <laughs> hmm. uh, no, no, Guru, this is, this is my commentary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the first part was Srila Prabhupada. He was not saying about Manjari Bhava. I just added this, okay? Yeah, oh, yeah. So these are these are my commentaries. Yeah. Uh, Lord Chaitanya appears in every yuga. But this yuga is special. Because in this incarnation, Lord Chaitanya was giving Prem so openly and to everyone. Yeah. We are indeed very fortunate that we have taken birth on this planet at this time. The time of the golden avatar. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, either personally or through his close associates, was distributing prem to everyone, including the two most prominent rascals of his time, Jagai and Madai. Jaga and Madai were known to have committed every sin imaginable. Including smashing a pot on Lord Nityananda's head. Still, after they asked forgiveness from Lord Chaitanya, first from Lord Nityananda, then from Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya forgave them and gave them prem. After that, Jaga and Madai became exemplary devotees. As 
As I have mentioned before, Lord Chaitanya is Krishna in the mood of Srimati Radhika. We often sing Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadar Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda. Gora Bhakta Vrinda means all glories to the followers, the devotees of Lord Gora Chandra. But what does it mean to follow Sri Guranga Mahaprabhu? It means for practicants to become a Manjari, a Radhadasi. We can see from Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. He did not personally recite or write a lot of philosophy, nor did he engage in deep philosophical discussions. Mainly, it was just an exchange of rasa, feelings, with his associates and devotees. Yeah, oh, yeah. And doing Namsan Kirtan. Yeah. So Srimati Radharani is like that. She is Mahabhava personified, the embodiment of Ras. She is also Kripa Mai, the ultimate bestower of Kripa mercy. Yeah. She only gives love, only gives mercy. Yeah. She does not judge nor scold. Even if one does not worship Radha, still she gives mercy secretly. She does not look for qualification. Indeed, she bestows more mercy to the most unfortunate child, yeah. like a mother. So Lord Chaitanya has descended and empowered his most confidential disciples, yeah. the Goswamis. To teach and preach Manjari Bhav. <clears throat> Srila Rupa Goswami is the principal Goswami. And also in his Nitya Swarup, the principal Manjari. If you say that you are a Rupa Nuga, follower of Rupa Goswami, that means that you aspire for Manjari Bhav. Yeah, oh, yeah. To become a maid servant of Radhika. All the Goswamis are Radha's Manjaris. They have left us a clear path to follow. So many books and examples from their own lives. Rupa Goswami is Rupa Manjari. Sanatan Goswami is Labanga Manjari. Ragunad Goswami, Rati Manjari. According to Lord Chaitanya's instructions, they ex thoroughly explained Sambanda, one's relationship with Godhead, Abhideya, the method for reviving that relationship, and Prayojana, the ultimate attainment of the supreme goal of life. Yeah. Raghunadas Goswami 
teaches us prem prayojan. How to reach our goal, prem, through practice. His foremost book, Vilap Kusumanjali, is literally sadhana for Manjari aspirants. A beautiful collection of Raghunath's personal realizations in his Sadaka Deha and in his Siddha Deha. Yeah. So now comes another part of Srila Prabhupada's uh, lecture. You have got freedom of action. And God awards you the result, whatever you want. But if you want to go to the planet where Krishna is, Krishna planet, which is called Goloka Vrindavan, then you have to worship Krishna, or as we say, Radha's Krishna. Yeah. Mam opetia punar janma dukala yam ashashvatam naptu vantu mahatmanaha sanisidim paramam gataha. This is verse from Bhagavad Gita 8.15. After attaining me, the great souls, who are yogis in devotion, never return to this temporary world, which is full of miseries, because they have attained the highest perfection. <laughs> Unless you practice, just like if you have to play on the stage, you have to perform several rehearsals, or if you have to appear in some examination, then you prepare yourself. What sort of questions may be there? And so, similarly, if we all want to transfer ourselves to that planet, Krishna Loka, Chintamani Dhamma, then we have to practice. We have to practice in this life. This human life is meant for practicing just like an apprentice. So now follow my commentaries. So here Prabhupada explains very nicely about our destination and how to reach it through practice. First, we have to know the goal. What is our goal? There are many planets in the spiritual sky. So we have to choose where do we want to go. If you want to serve Krishna alone, many choices are there. You can go to Vishnu Loka, Dvaraka, or Mathura. Krishna appears in many forms with different moods. But for those who want to reach Goloka Vrindavan, who want to serve Rajendra Nandan, you have to meditate on Krishna in a particular way as Radha's Krishna. Yeah. yeah. Well, Krishna, Radha's Krishna is bewildered, enchanted by Srimati Radharani. 
Only Radha Krishna forgets his flute, plays with cowherd boys, or steals butter from the gopis. If you want Brajendra Nandana, you have to go through Radhika. Radhika gives Swarup and service. She knows how to serve Krishna the best. She is most qualified. So without her blessings and permission, we cannot enter into that mood. If you want to serve both Radha Krishna, still you have to go through Vrindavaneshwari Radha. And what about those who meditate on Shimati Radharani alone? Their job is very simple. Shri Radha never leaves Vrindavan. So if we meditate on her, our destination is clear. The second thing Srila Prabhupada mentions in this verse, in this commentary, is practice. Just like in this material world, if we want to achieve something, we have to practice. We have to work for our goal. What is our work? What is our task? Mainly, we have to take initiation from a bona fide guru, a Raganuga Bhakta, and follow his instructions nicely. Guru is like a touchstone. He can give everything. He can take away all our shortcomings and karma. He can literally turn us into a candidate for the inner circle of Radhika. It is said that if a bona fide guru asks Radhika to accept his disciple, she can never refuse. Jai Ho, beautiful Deva. So, if we find such a Guru and take shelter, even if we are not so good at following instructions or practicing Raganuga Bhakti, mm -hmm. we can consider ourselves very fortunate. We got this chance, Guru Kripa, to achieve our goal in this lifetime or one of the next lifetimes. Srila Prabhupada often mentioned that this human body is very rare. So we should make good use of the chance by becoming by becoming Radha Dasi. It is not easy to become Radha Dasi. But we should never lose hope or feel discouraged that our progress is slow. If we feel like that, we should try to go deeper into our bhajan and pray for Guru Dev's and Radhika's blessings. Yeah. Guru Manjari and Radhika are always with us. <clears throat> we have to feel this in our hearts, in our everyday lives. 
if we do not feel this, if we are not connect connected in this way, our mind and heart will be in this material world occupied with mundane dealings. Yeah. It should also be said that an aspirant practicant should take his bhajan seriously and invest as much time as possible in chanting and remembering. We cannot expect to get the results we want if our consciousness is mostly in material affairs. We have to live in this Manjadiba, in this consciousness, like Guru Dev often says. There is a saying, practice makes perfect. So our bhajan has to be like that. We have to constantly work on our Siddha Deha. So that when the time comes, we can take the final exam and pass with flying colors. Just like in college, if you study very hard, you will be confident that you will pass the test. So we should use this lifetime to prepare us for our Nitya Seva, as Radhika's Manjari Kinkari. And now the final sentence from Prabhupada's lecture. And if we become convinced that God is my protector, Krishna is my protector, then how much happy and peaceful we will be. So my commentaries follow. We can realize God as Paramatma, Brahman, or in person as Bhagavan. For those who are oblivious to God's existence, God is situated in their hearts as Paramatma. There is the tale of two birds. One sits on a lower branch, Jiva, and the other one on a higher branch, God, watching over the Jiva. So this is the case with most people. God watches over them without interfering in their affairs, like a neutral, neutral observer. But even for them, God also plays a role as their benefactor, well-wisher and guardian. So if that is the case with ordinary people, what to say about Lord's devotees? We have to understand that we are very dear to the Lord, to Radhika. It is said that we cannot imagine how much Radhika and Gurudev love us. We often question ourselves, how much do I love God? But we also have to remind ourselves 
How much does God love me? And Shimati Radharani loves her kinkaris very, very much. Yeah, oh, that, that. The first verse of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, Shikshashtaka, starts with Chaita Darpana Marjanam. So our job is to purify our hearts so that Radhika's mercy can fill our heart nicely. This is our job, to make our heart fit for the ocean of Radhika's love. So in every situation, we should remember mm. that Radhika loves us and will keep us from harm. Yeah. Oh. Even if, from our point of view, something bad happens, Radhika will always use this as a learning experience so that we can become more attached to her. In this way, we can become peaceful and happy and live our lives full of joy. Wow, beautiful Deva. Wow. We conclude everything for right goal. Wow. So nice, beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Dev. Thank you, Dev. Maybe more, you can say something now. <laughs> more and more your realization, select and share sometime like this. Very good. Yeah. It's a very good to conclude the thing in the perfect direction. Teachings has to be well organized, wow, beautifully. Thank you. Okay. What is the today's subject? Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, Guru Dev. Yes. Thank you very much, Dev Pran. It was so nice, so enlightened to listen to you, how you beautifully and systematically explained everything very clearly, shortly, and putting the focus in our mind and heart. Yeah. Thank you. Like you said, Thank you. really, I always was very happy that you gave the, and you, Karuna gave the chance to Ramani Priya and me to meet the Guru Dev and to be blessed with his mercy but we are also blessed with your mercy and we are not forgetting this so thank you very very much gurudev is asking for the subject but you put so many subjects actually <laughs> it is it is difficult it is difficult you know because shila Prabhupada's lectures have so many purposes so many yeah. purposes. So I, I try to concentrate on three points. Let's let's say like that. So yeah. 
If you want, I can read something, or maybe Goranga Sundar, you can read something, whatever. You want. No, no, you, 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 you can read it. What do you feel, and what do, you, what do you want? You have something in your mind. I can feel it. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> 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 no. Okay. One, uh, one, can I tell one question? Picture. Picture, very good. Radhe Radhe. Today is not open. Lord is Deva. So nice. Very clear. It's so nice to bring Prabhupada's lecture on, on our direction. That's nice. Um, one thing <clears throat> I like to that you explain this. Mm, how to purify the heart to get uh, proper to Radharani, Radharani's service. What is the way to, to do this? Maybe you can explain this. Purify our heart, you said in the last. Yes, thank you very much for uh, asking the question, I feel that Gurudev should be the one or some of the senior devotees to answer this. But I, I can give some short answer from my part. Maybe somebody else can also add something. Uh, it is difficult. I can also, I can, I can say from my experience. Uh, because I am more on the intellectual level. Uh, my mind is working uh, all the time. And on one hand, this is good because I can do many things. But on the other hand, uh, I had a problem with uh, uh, developing feelings, feelings for uh, Shmati Radharani. Uh, so I can say that uh, this is my experience. I'm not saying that this is the path to take. My experience is uh, that uh, we need definitely blessings from Gurudev and from Radhika. This is primary. I can say that I'm not, I'm not able to, to change myself on my part. Uh, also, I can see I had a difficult time last year. Uh, many problems came. I'm not going to go into them. It was a very difficult, uh, very difficult time. And finally, um, at the end of last year, I was diagnosed uh, with diabetes one, which is the the, cro the chronic disease, <laughs> mm. and um, I was, you know, feeling very bad. I had to say uh, it was not a particularly pleasant experience. But uh, now, after some time, after I have gotten much better. I can see and feel that my heart is much purer. I can feel much more than before. And through this experience, I can say that I really had Gurudev's blessings and Radhika's blessings. So, uh, it will also take a little bit more time to become completely aware about what happened. But uh, I can really now look at this period and finally uh, this disease which came as a very positive experience for, for spiritual life. I am able now to connect more with our deities Radha Mohan. I'm able to uh, 
uh, to connect more with my wife, which who has been such a great support, I have to say. And I have to say also that I see my wife as Radhika Skinkari, as Gurudev's daughter. Wow. And she really, really helped me. I can't say how much. So. Thank you. I'm not saying that everybody has to go uh, for such experience, but sometimes it's necessary. I actually now I can see that um, I was doing many things wrong, uh, skipping meals, eating uh, garbage food because I had a stressful job. Mm -hmm. So it was coming. It was coming. Some disease was coming. Uh, but actually, Radhika and Gurudev have been so merciful, so merciful. So sometimes, I, at least in my case, I needed this. I needed this experience to become softer, to become more prepared for what's coming. And hopefully, uh, I learned something from this. And... Uh, in the in the future, I can be more prepared for the for the things to come. Only we must have faith and yeah. we have to surrender to Radha Mohan, Radha Rani, mm. and everything they will do. They never they never will leave us. They always will, always around. I never feel uh, I'm alone. My family is alone. I always feel they always is there. Mm. And I know without Sadhu Maharaj, maybe without Sadhu Maharaj mercy, I don't know what what I can do. But I really, I really love you, Sadhu Maharaj. Mm. I really respect you so much. I know maybe I can't show you, but I really love you. <laughs> and I know because of you, I get my family, beautiful family. And I really so lucky. I I I so much connect with Radha Mohan. And they always with me. I can feel it. This wow. I can feel it. Now I understand. I always said, I always said to Dev Pran, I'm really, he was, he was big depressions. I said, you have to surrender. He don't know how to surrender. And he really, I said, when you start to surrender to Radha Mohan, give your all worries, everything, then you can see, you will relax. You can feel very light. And they will protect you from everything. Wow. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, now I this is not so good. No, no, no. Now I understand how, how clean our hearts. <laughs> now you give the explanation. It's only to listen our sisters. <laughs> Thank you. We have to listening Radha Mohan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. good. Evening. Thank you, Maharaj. Sri Radha. Uh, read something. <laughs> Gurudev, uh, Dev Pran, when I was listening to him, he inspired me to think about verse from Bhagavad Gita, because it's obviously the day of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and yeah. he 
he read eight, eight chapter, verse 15, I think 15, something like that. Yeah. And it's, we have to listen very carefully the words. Because in these words is everything what our Gurudev is explaining, just in the words. After Krishna is saying, after attaining me, the great souls who are yogis in devotion, never return to this temporary world, which is full of miseries, miseries, because they have attained the highest perfection. I can see some devotees are moving their heads wow. because they understand Krishna is saying, after attaining me, they have attained highest perfection. Ah. So those who sign with Krishna, they attain the ultimate goal. Oh. Jai Shri. And who are these personalities are? It's in the middle of the words. Great souls who are yogis in devotion. Mm. Yogis in devotion. It's not ordinary yogis. Wow. Yogis in... <laughs> wow. In devotion. Wow. The mind is totally fit. The mind is totally fit. In, in frame ultimate frame. goal. Frame priority. Frame priority. <coughs> they are real yogis. Yeah. Wow. Because they want to serve with love. Yogis of devotion. They understand. The love is goal, like you said, Gurudev. Love is the way. Love is the process. Love is the shelter. So in that way, they attain perfection of devotion, true devotion. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the reason why they don't have to come back to take another life, another life, and another life. Except if Radhika wants like that. Yeah. I just wanted to say like just you this. Too. Because he really inspired me. <laughs> and yeah. I took Bhagavad Gita to see, because this word, yogis of devotion, just entered in my mind and heart. And <coughs> it was like one alarm. <laughs> I will record Jananda Maharaj. Yes. From Bhagavad Gita Rasa. It will be very nice. Bhagavad Gita Rasa. I sorry Gurudev, I just uh, hearing Deva Purana Prabhu and uh, Orangasanda Prabhu. I just remember one bus. 
Hey, from Bagatam, sorry, not to Gita. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> Prabhupada teaching is this. Uh, I forgot the bus and this kind of, I think, tense canto. Uh, no problem. Say that. Okay. I just. Uh, I this very famous bus, but I forgot the bus. Someone face, someone who has so much difficulty, but always pray for the mercy from the Lord. And who is tolerate, very humbly. That person become very nice candidate for getting the mercy of the Lord. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's bus. So I just remember, so Dema Prana Pabu and uh, Karuna Didi, they, they face so much difficulty. But always they are desiring the mercy of the Radha Mohan and Gurudev. Then Gurudev's mercy, Radha Mohan's mercy, they could see more reality and more, more the light, more the way to attain a perfection. And uh, I, I, I feel they are every time feeling the mercy. Sometimes we, we say, this is why, why Radha Mohan give, give me this kind of difficulty. Sometimes devotee feel like this. <laughs> but actually after that, people thinking, oh, this is actually greatest mercy for me upon us because that difficulty purify me and more sincerely pray for the mercy from the Gurudev and the Radha Moham. And then slowly, slowly, completely surrender for everything because uh, Deva Pranapam's wife is so great. So she's uh, saying, oh, it's a time for praying, time for surrendering. So no problem. Radha Moha will give you the way. Gurudev give us the way. So Deva Pranapabu and uh, Karuna Didi, slowly, slowly, they could, they, they, they are getting more realization by the mercy of Gurudev and uh, by their realization they give us so much inspiration for for doing more seva for Gurudev and Radamo. Uh, so this is uh, this is Sadhu Sangha. So we need every devotee the association because that's that's a real association <clears throat> give so much power so much inspiration so much purification that's i'm just feeling uh, hearing deva purana Prabhu and karuna didi and the goranga sundar and the guru devs words thank you very much yeah. Thank you so much, Jananda Maharaj. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Thank, Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. I have Jananda Maharaj now inspired me just to say something small because I learned it from Ananta Das Babaji. Devotee who is going through all difficulties, up and downs, his name is and finally, he takes a shelter of love. 
His name is Vira Bhakta. Hero. Bhakta, who is a hero. Vira. He got he, his victory is actually his love and surrender. So, thank you very much to all of you. I also want to thank you for your honest and very emotional and open sharing. Because sometimes we are used, we are quoting this and that, we have learned so much. But when it comes to our own application in our lives, when the difficult times come, it comes to all of us sooner or later. To be honest and to be, you know, humble about this, I think this is the greatest uh, attraction between the brothers and sisters that attracts me very much. Guru just said a few days ago, um, when Shemati Radhika meets Krishna, she was so shy and so humble. She looked even to her toenails. And then Gurudev was uh, sharing that this humility is so attracting. And then I think about it. How is humility so attracting? Because humility makes us vulnerable. There's no more veil of any, you know, designation of any thinking what others think or what uh, how I should be in the eyes of others, how I should look good and how I should look smart and realized. But this humility that shows us just the way where we are right now in our lives, you know, trying to become more softer and more feelingly because we want to feel, right? We know that the feeling is the way. And this humility in herself, I would say it is like Shimati Radhika's mercy if it comes to me that I can become humble because with this humility the emotions come right when we speak about this it comes some tears and some feelings come oh I'm very um, small and I'm very beginning and I think I practice for so many years and so I think you are doing very great job sharing this your difficult time in your lives and at the same time, you were expressing everything that, you know, is the um, essence of this humility is to take shelter and to understand how it feels to be Shimati Radhika's Dasi through thick and thin, not through the more better times and also the difficult times. And I especially like your point where you say, um, yeah, I try to love her and I don't know how to love her because sometimes my feelings are very blocked and I feel, you know, anything else but not love. But then I not forget how she loves us, how Shimati Radhika loves us and Gurudev loves us and all sisters and brothers. They are there to help in the times when the love is a little bit more blocked. So thank you for reminding us and thank you for your honesty and your humility, uh, which is very attractive. Thank you so much. <coughs> thank you so much, Suniti. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Gopi Nath, you want to share? Yes. No, no, that's no, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, um, Dave Fran and Corona Didi. Um, it was very inspiring. I, I love the Dave Fran's commentaries because, uh, you know, we took the essence from Prabhupada's lecture and brought us straight uh, into the meditation of how to be a Dasi of Radharani.
And uh, what what really stuck to me are, are two things you were saying. That one, that um, we can become a candidate for Radharani's inner circle. And once Gurudev proposes us to her, uh, she has no choice, right? <laughs> she has to accept us. So this uh, nishta to Gurudev is so important also in our practice, no? Like, uh, he's the navigator. We should never, like, never for a second forget that. And Gurudev yesterday even said, not even for a, a split of a second, we should forget Gurudev, you know? As he never forgets us. No, I say my I no forget my guru. I no say to you <laughs> not forget me. I, I don't say, want to I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget my guru there. I know teaching. I don't want to forget my yeah. <laughs> yeah, humility is the key <coughs> in every moment so to showing us. And the other thing was that Gurudev and Radharani, they love us so much. And I was just feeling like, why I'm not jumping into that ocean of love? Why I'm always keeping or holding myself back? But the association with all of you, brothers and sisters, I feel is, you know, a pull and push factor. You know, we pull and push each other. That once sometimes we are more blocked, or sometimes we are in difficulties, then our brothers and sisters can also help us, you know, to clear that and push us more into that loving feeling and growing in that. And um, I just wanted to end with saying that I, very, I feel a very special bond with Dave Brown and Karuna. Didi, we know each other since my early beginnings here in Munger Mandir. Um, Especially, of course, Vrinda Masi is very, very, very dear to, to my heart. She's the, she was my role model of Vaishnavi, you know, in the early time. Like, learned so much from her what it means to be, you know, a Vaishnava in the Dham, how to live in the Dham, not to make offenses, you know, to, to seva. And, uh, you know, and I see this also this quality in, in Karuna. And I think Croatia is very, very fortunate to have Dave and Karuna. This is a bridge Basi home which they have. Mm -hmm. This is the mood of, of Vrindavan. Vrindavan, totally. And they Pre have such a beautiful altar. Prem Lila Kunj. Uh, yes, yeah. And they just renovated it. They showed me the other day. And it's like all to welcome mm -hmm. such devotees. Like this is the focus of their house is for the devotees and the sadhus. So. I think the uh, is very fortunate, isn't it, Buranga Sundar? To have them there. I'm the proof. <laughs> I'm the proof of their mercy. Yes. We and we feel hmm? we feel very fortunate that we have been able to to uh, to give uh, to get Gurudev's association. And uh, I remember one time, I think it was the last time Gurudev was here in Zagreb. Um, we had so many devotees. I think 70, 60, 80, 60, 70, 70 something 80. like that. And actually, before Gurudev came to Croatia, me and Daita Prem were planning to make a big mela. But for some reason, it didn't work out. So, you know, then we had to reschedule the plan, and uh, so many devotees wanted to come. And uh, I was thinking where to where to host the program because I thought that my house was not big enough. Uh, finally, we decided to have the program in my house because it was the most convenient place to do and didn't take much planning. And. Um, I was I was very skeptical. I was very skeptical because you know one thing is ten people come, but another thing is if sixty people come, <laughs> it's definitely a big difference. 70, maybe more. And actually, uh, the program was so nice. I know Suniti was there. I remember. 
I, 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 I don't remember all the devotees who Janardan was there. I don't remember all the devotees who came there because there were so many devotees and it was so blissful. It was so nice. It was it was really the best time of my life. And uh, I will just say one more thing. And uh, the last night, Gurudev gave a lecture, and so many devotees were in the in the in the temple room. So many. I don't know how many. I 50, 60, I think, something like that. I had I would never expect that so many devotees can fit into the temple room because our temple room is not that big. Not that big. Yes. And uh, and the Gurudev Gurudev asked me to say something and um, I was just looking at him and looking at all the devotees and I just started crying because it was so nice. So beautiful. Yeah. So nice. Thank you so much Gurudev. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I just also want to say thank you to Dev Pran and Karuna Patia because I received mercy from Guru Dev, uh, my Harinam and Diksha in their flat. Uh. So, <laughs> so I feel your your home like a Vrindavan, definitely for me, and I'm very very grateful to you. Uh, and to Guru Dev, but he 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 accepted me uh, in your home, <laughs> Shirade. Thank you. I just have to say that uh, this Lila Vidrasa May was so beautiful. I, I it, this takes a little bit longer to to tell, but this was really a miracle how everything turned out and how she got mercy from Guru Dev. It was so nice. It was so beautiful. <clears throat> Some small obstacles were there, okay. but the way but the way Gurudev handled was really so amazing, amazing, beautiful, beautiful, oh, so nice. Safe, safe, safe. Open. <laughs> well, uh, it it took a little bit persuasion for us Amai to take initiation. <laughs> uh, and um, her mother and father <clears throat> were more in the ISKCON mood. Uh, so uh, Damodar was actually, da Damodar is Rasa May's husband. Uh, Damodar was the first one to take initiation uh, from Gurudev. And he was talking, I guess, to Rasa May, maybe she should also take. Uh, but Rasa May's parents were more inclined uh, that she should take Diksha from some Iskon sannyasi. If I remember, it was Smita Krishna Maharaj. Yeah. More uh, or less. Not, not very specific, but yes, okay. Iskon was there. They preferred. Okay. So anyway, um, uh, Gurudev was invited. Or I don't, I don't remember if he was invited. But anyway, Gurudev... Uh, went with Rasa Mai to the Iskon Temple, which is very near from our house, about five minutes, five minutes. ten minutes walking, right. maybe something like that. And uh, at that time, I was a persona non grata in the Iskon Temple. I was, I was not welcomed because I have been uh, classified as dangerous. Me and Daita Prem were dangerous, so. Uh, I did not actually. I didn't want to go. I didn't. Guru Dev asked me to come. I said, actually, Guru Dev first asked me if he should come, if he should go. I said, you know, Guru Dev, you are you are Mahatma. You will do whatever you want, no problem. But still, I don't. I don't like if somebody makes offense to you or something like that. And then Guru Dev said, okay. So finally, finally, he went with Rasa Mai. I didn't want to enter the temple because I, you know, I said, I will wait outside. So uh, if I remember correctly, Smita Krishna Maharaj was there. Yeah. And Gurudev told me that everything went so nice. They welcomed him. They gave him prashad. Uh, and everything went so smoothly. 
And Rasa Mai's parents were so happy. They got blessings also from Smita Krishna Maharaj uh, that finally they accepted uh, Rasa Mai's decision. And uh, they are very happy with her choice now. So and after they came also our house. Yes, after that, they also visited our house many times. I consider them friends also, very nice. And, you know, I never told you that, Samai, but uh, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not Gurudev, <laughs> but I feel, I feel that you and Damodar are our spiritual daughter and brother, I have to say, really. And I was very, very happy when you took initiation, and I was very, very happy when you stayed in, in Gurudev's yeah. ashram, in, in, Raj, in Muge Raj Mandir, and doing so much nice seva. Because I also feel that in somehow we participated with this, and it gives me great, great joy, great joy. And I, I really, I cannot say what a nice, nice lila this was with your initiation. And I remember also, I have to say this, I hope you don't mind, uh, when you took, uh, when you got Harinam, uh, you started to cry, and uh, we were all crying. I was crying. Uh, it was so nice. And then Gurudev gave you your name, and then somebody <laughs> explained what your what does your name mean. You did. Yeah. I don't remember who, but it was it was such a nice nice Lila, really. Mm -hmm. It brings tears to my eyes when I think about it. Really, so nice. Very special, very special initiation and uh, very special Lila. Very special Lila. This Lila really showed me what Gurudev is capable of, how Radhika works for him, because it was it was not an easy, 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 easy arrangement, but it was so beautifully arranged. I, I cannot explain how how nice. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much for reminding me again. Tears are coming uh, to my eyes. It was really very special. Um, my parents always wanted me to follow my heart, but that times they were not so sure. They, they they did not know what is truth, what is uh, what is like if I am being seduced or uh, they are being seduced or what is going on and then when we were in Iskon temple Gurudev and uh, Smita Krishna Maharaj they I remember this moment they both gave Dandavat to Prabhupada and I started to cry so much my mother started to cry <laughs> and from this moment I knew that everything everything will be fine and, and it was, <laughs> and it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. I have to say uh, one more thing now that I have some chance to speak. Uh, I have to say that whenever a devotee took shelter from Gurudev, uh, me and Karuna Priya were feeling really, really happy. Uh, this, this happiness really I cannot describe. And it really showed me if you uh, try to do seva for others, then ultimately this is your biggest reward. Especially if, uh, if, if, if a sadhu comes, if you are so fortunate and somebody takes shelter, this is really the, the biggest benefit one can do for somebody else. This is my firm belief. Because, you know, you can, you, can give, you can give some material benefit to somebody. You can give them money. You can give them some presents and things like that. This is also very nice. But if you can uh, point them to their spiritual path, this is really special. This really brings so much joy to me. So we are very happy to, to hear this, this story of Rasa Mai's initiation. So many initiations were there. I just have to, I just have to say one more thing. Uh, before my, before Gurudev was coming to my place, he was going uh, to Shanti's place. And the first three devotees, they 
uh, all got Harinam, if I remember correctly, from Gurudev. And this was so special. This was so special. Uh, Shanti's apartment at that time was very, very small. There was two rooms, one for Sadhu, one for Sangha. And uh, in this bigger room, Gurudev gave initiation. And I think about 20, 20, 30 devotees were there, something like that. I don't remember correctly. But the atmosphere was so special. I will never forget this. Everybody was crying. Everybody was crying. It was so special. This really, you know, I never experienced before. Everybody was crying. Nobody knew why. Nobody knew why. Okay, these three disciples, Gurudev's disciples, my god brothers, they were probably crying because they felt so much mercy. But, you know, the whole atmosphere was so nice. Everybody was crying. <coughs> so beautiful. I will never forget this. So Deva Pranapab, which year this 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 happening? Guru Dev give three devotees. Um, oh I, I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember. Let's see. Karuna came in 2000, 2009, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 2010. So I think 2008, something like that. 2008, something like that. I think, yeah. 2007, 2008, maybe something like that. Thank you. No, thank you. Radhe, Radhe. I just want to add one small thing about Rasta Mai's parents. Maybe some of them, some of you, you don't know, but actually those two persons took a shelter of Gurudev. <laughs> Maybe in the beginning they were hesitating to give blessings to daughter but now they took a shelter of Gurudev. And this is Gurudev's mercy and the mercy of their daughter also. So we are ha very happy they are also the part of our family. This is end of the Lila. <laughs> <laughs> From her heart, <laughs> she healed me with her love, making in the paintings. I'm so proud of her. Oh, what to say, dear Buddha, Radhe Radhe. <laughs> You are my medicine. Brother Ran is my medicine. You are always in Vrindavan. Because you are always in meditation of Radhika. I'm very proud of you. And that's my papa. Very proud. Your daughters both are so special because of your devotion, because of Prabhupada mercy. Everything is happening positive. Rag Bhakti, we no need to leave or disconnect. We have to add one more because to understand more deep to Prabhupada, 
and our guide what they want to say. Nothing to cut and break relation. We never suggest to anything to disconnect yourself. More connection is required to go smooth. In wiring, you make jumper, you connect, you become loose wiring, you connect more strongly, that current goes very fast. Connection it works good. More clear picture can get. That's the point. Right.